Hi everyone, this is Swanette. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm going to show you how to create this mani and I hope you enjoy. So first I applied Bettina Marshmallow and I just love this color. It is an off-white color with like a hint of pink. And I prepped my nails using Bundle Monsters Poly Peel. So I'm going to be stamping with Bilos Plates, Rainbows and Unicorns. And I'm going to be using the rainbows and this cool unicorn right here. And I'll be stamping with this polish. So I'm going to get two nail stampers ready to do these two nails. So I'm applying my polish on the plate. Quickly swipe, pick up, and set it aside. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp on the other side. And do the same thing. Next, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my image with color. Keep in mind there's so many ways to create stamping decals. Try them all to figure out which way is the best way for you. Remember, everyone stamps differently and everyone loves different methods. And the only way to figure out which way you're going to like is trying it out. But I just love this reverse stamping technique or the advanced stamping technique. There's so many names. But you know that it is when you have fill your image with color. And uh, once it's dry to the touch, slightly tacky, then you just stamp it on your nails and it sticks on like magic. So I didn't wait that long. I just apply some pressure. And as you can see, it's on my nails. I try to use polishes that dry quickly. That way I don't have to wait that much. So in less than a minute, I can stamp them on. So here I am repeating the process. I'm going to go ahead and fill this cute image with color. And don't worry if you color outside the line, just take a small detail brush and clean it up with a little bit of nail polish remover. So I'm done and like I said before, I just touch it lightly. If I don't see fingerprints, then I go ahead and stamp it on quickly. And there you go. Definitely try it out. I know you're going to love it. Try out with a small image first and then work your way up to larger images. Next I like to clean up before I apply my top coat but you can also clean up at the ends of your mani. It's all up to you. Finally the last step is to apply your favorite top coat and I'm using Sesh V. and you're done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and happy stamping. Bye!